This will be a short demo of the new hydrogeosphere interface in GMS 10.8. Here I've opened the hydrogeosphere model used in the GMS hydrogeosphere tutorials. This is the hydrogeosphere simulation object in the Project Explorer. Multiple simulations can be included in a GMS project. The simulation control dialog is where a lot of model options are specified. GMS currently supports these hydrogeosphere domains, porous media, surface flow, and ET. Porous media is a 3D domain, and the other two are 2D domains. To model those domains, GMS uses two separate grids, a 3D grid and a 2D grid, which matches the 3D grid, but sits on top of the 3D grid. Material properties are specified in the materials dialog. Materials are defined on the left side of the dialog and associated with a domain and one or more zones. And the material properties are specified on the right. Zones are defined by GMS using data sets on the grids. Boundary conditions and observations and hydrographs are defined using coverages. For example, this model includes four wells, which are modeled using a flux nodal boundary condition. Double clicking the well point opens the point properties window where the boundary condition properties can be edited. Multiple boundary conditions can be edited at once by selecting multiple points. When the simulation is saved, GMS intersects the feature objects in the coverages with the grids and writes a Grok file. Let's take a look at the Grok file. So we can see that GMS created a nicely formatted Grok file. After the simulation is saved, the next step is to run Grok to prepare the model input files. Now we're ready to run Hydrogeosphere. All right, we've skipped ahead to the end of the model run. Now that the model's been run, we can read the solution. The solution consists of several 3D and 2D data sets and solution plots. The 3D data sets come in under the 3D grid. Likewise, the 2D data sets are read in under the 2D grid. Let's turn the grids back on and contour the data sets. Some of the data sets are cell-based and some are point-based and some are vector data sets. For the solution plots, we can open up the solution plots window and take a look at the various plots that were generated by Hydrogeosphere. Multiple plots can be displayed at once. 
and plot data can be found in the plot data dialog. And that concludes the demo of the hydrogeosphere interface in GMS 10.8.